Hello friends, my name is Amit and I welcome you to my YouTube channel Voice Card. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit long, not much, because the thing that we are going to discuss in this lecture are very, very, very important. So, uh, you can see that the backbone of IPT is uh, this. So uh, this lecture is all about about root patterns, list, and root groups and devices. So uh, what these things are all about and how you can create them in CUCM and how they are works so uh, uh, while creating we need to uh, we need to uh, keep in mind that a specific pattern like first thing that we need to create in the CUCM that is devices and uh, like uh, devices includes gateways and trunks and then it comes to the root groups and then followed by root list and uh, root patterns so uh, first thing that what are the devices that devices contains like gateways you configured in CUCM and trunks you have configured uh, to root the goals that comes under to the devices and what are root groups a root group is a list of devices uh, you can see that gateways and trunks so that comes into the root group and then uh, it's what is root list a root list is a list of prioritized root groups so uh, what you have configured in root groups that comes under to the root list so uh, and the last thing is root pattern a root pattern is a comprises a string of digits you can see that addresses and a set of associated digits manipulation that root the call to the root list or gateways so these all things uh, will see that how you can create them and configure them in CUCM for that we need to go to the CUCM and enter the URL of your CUCM and then put up with the credentials to go inside this call manager so let's see yes advance and okay proceed so now enter your credentials yes now we are inside so first thing that we'll see uh, we'll, we'll create the devices so first thing uh, so go to the gateways and then click add a new so we'll create two devices uh, just to understand the things so uh, here you need to select the gateway type so let's s.323 gateway select it and click on next yes the device name uh, for example will give uh, the IP address of the first gateway 1.2 and description any description you want to give for your understanding let's example g underscore okay backspace ga devices and that these the things device pool uh, you can select and then save click on apply so our first device has been created and for the second one just add a new select the same we'll see take s.323 next and here you need to define the second IP address of your device so and the name will be PSTN devices so in this these are the PSTN devices and earlier it was J devices default and click on save okay and failed already exist okay so I think this IP we already have given let's check go to the gateways and click on find yes uh, we already defined this IP address so we need to give a different IP address or you can you can uh, change that so we will we'll, uh, give the different one uh, let's take an example of 1.3 if we can we can give okay, uh, okay. so 10.1.2 100.1.3 and PS10 devices and select as a default and then save 
so our bot devices has been created now you can see uh, if you want to check them uh, here these are so now our next step will be to create a root group so we need to go to the cold routing and here is root hunt and then these are the root groups uh, root list and the root pattern so first thing we need to create is root groups click on add a new and here you need to define the uh, first root group name so GA uh, let's take the same devices and you need to define that devices you can uh, algorithm you can check whatever you want it's a circular and top to down anything you want to check so these are the devices so for G devices we have 100.1.2 just add two groups and then click on save the same way we need to create another one for PS10 devices the PS10 devices and for that we have the IP uh, of available devices is 10.100.1.3 just select them and add to groups click on save yes so both the uh, root groups has been created now uh, if you want to check you can so G devices and PS10 devices we have configured so next step is uh, to configure a uh, root list yes so select root list and add new so here you can give the uh, root list name so uh, like we can choose way to four xxx uh, uh, that means we need the, this root list it will select while dialing this extension number starts with four so in description you can give its path to dial four x x x x and here you need to select your CUCM IP address so save it and now we need to add the groups into that root list so select add group and root group name so we have two root groups GA devices and then PS10 devices so both we will add to this root list uh, one by one so save it and click on OK and to add the second one click on add root group PS10 devices and then click on save click on OK so both the uh, root group devices has been added now and now we need to create the root pattern yes so click on add new and the root pattern will be 4xxxx partition you can uh, select as default or anything like PSTN description uh, anything you want to give path to dial or pattern for dialing anything you want to give you can and then we need to define okay we need to define the root list also so we have created that way to uh, 4xxx that is the there is the right so, so now you can save it okay and now we are almost done we we have created root patterns group list and devices all things so this is uh, the you can say that wildcard so that means like one X denotes uh, let me let me type one X denotes uh, digits between 0 to 9 so anything 0 to 9 when you dial it will take this route yes so uh, this is the wildcards about X so you can save it and now if you want to check like whether these things created or not go to the cold routing cold routing and select root plan report uh, here in search window 
either you can find or just uh, here more than one so you can you can search it like entering four next click on it so here we have uh, this is the root pattern we have created the partition we have given to this and these are the things like root list under root list these are the root groups and in the root group these are the root these are the devices so this is the things how it works and how it can configure thanks for giving time to my videos please like and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notifications and if you have any queries do comment in the comment box we'll come up with the solutions thank you see you in the next lecture